Hello everybody, I'm back again. Yes, I did another video right after I finished the fall book tag. So, this video is just going to be me talking about random shit. So, the first thing, actually the only thing, would be I wanted to talk about like unforgettable books. You guys have that? Like, unforgettable books? It doesn't mean you like the book. It doesn't mean the book is good. It can be like, the book can be complete shit. It's just like, just kind of stop thinking about it, you know, like the themes of the book, the plot of the book, something about the book, just like, mm, you know, it's like stuck to your mind forever. Okay, not really forever, but like a few years, a good few years. So two of the m most unforgettable books for me would be like, number one, The Terror by Dan Simmons, and the second one is from Buick 8 by Stephen King. Now, the reason why I chose The Terror by Dan Simmons is because I actually really, really, really enjoyed the book. The first half of it. The second half of it I thought was complete shit. Now, the reason why is because the first half was kind of like a psychological thriller thing going on, psychological horror. So it's basically based upon the Sir John Franklin expedition, the failed one. Actually, that was the only one considering they all died. But yeah, I really liked it because just imagine, you know, you know how scary that is? It's kind of like you're this group of hardened men, you go to like the freaking Arctic, I think it was the Arctic, all I know is there there's ice, there's nothing, and then you know you're dying, you're, you're in pain because you have scurvy and possibly tin poisoning, and then like there's cannibalism and shit and people dying left and right, you're bleeding all over the place, there's no food, there's no warmth. You are never going to be saved because I think by this time, it's already been like five years. They've been on the ice and the ice is just not fucking breaking. So just imagine like how scary that is. Like just, oh, uh, like just, oh, uh, just, just imagine it. Like, you know, you're out there on the ice. Yet you can't see your family. You can't write to your family. You know, you're going to die and you're not even dying fast. You're like dying really slowly because like scurvy and tin poisoning and then I don't know, malnutrition, you're not dying very fast. I mean, like, are you going to commit suicide? But with what, though, is the question. With what? A gun? Do you even have a gun? Is there even enough gunpowder? Will they even allow you to kill yourself with gunpowder? Hmm? You know? So it was just kind of like, the first half of the book just really makes me think. You know, it's just like, that's just scary shit to die alone in the ice. Alone, with men who don't, who I'm, I'm pretty sure haven't showered for the five years. They've been stuck there. They probably don't smell good. Well, they probably wouldn't smell as bad if it was like a humid place. But still, five years of not showering, mm, stink is gonna build up. And then I'm just kind of like, ah. Oh. But the second half of the book really, really ruined it for me. It became like a monster horror that I was just kind of like, nope. I wish like the author just kind of made it more nuanced, you know, kind of like, is there a monster or is there not a monster? So then you're kind of like, really? Is there a monster or not? You know, kind of like Inception, where you don't know what the fuck's going on. And like, yeah, that's basically it. Just, oh, that book creeps the shit out of me. Okay, okay, so the second book is from A Buick 8 by Stephen King. The reason why I chose this book is not because I liked the book, I hated it. I completely hated it. This book was so boring. So boring. But at the same time, the reason why it's been stuck in my mind is because when you first start reading it, right? Like, the guy, I can't even remember the characters in the book, but, like, the protagonist is, like, saying that, well, human nature, like, no matter how fantastical something is or something was, eventually human nature will just find it, like, oh, it's just a normal routine thing, and then they'll find it boring, and then there's nothing new, and they get bored of it, and then, because it's, like, a routine, you know? So I was, like, reading it, and like I said, this book was boring as fuck fuck for me so it's about a car right they they found a car and this car is weird as shit it's weird like sh weird shit just happens like there's a portal out of nowhere people disappear things disappear a cat disappears and then like things come out from that car it's just weird alien like and then but the characters in the book because they experience this all the time it becomes routine and it becomes boring and then for me as the reader because I read it 
like as it's happening to them and it's like very routine like something happens they get shocked a bit and then the car is just back to its same old shit and it repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats throughout the whole book that it just becomes so dull and boring and then towards the end of it i was just so done which makes me feel like i'm so done with stephen king's writing completely but at the same time i'm thinking like was that the point of the book you know kind of like to show that that's what it's trying to say like if it's like something that happens every day it becomes boring and you're you're over it you know so it makes me wonder was that the point of the book was it trying to make me get over it like just, just be so over it yeah i don't know what this video is about basically i didn't think about it i just kind of like videoed just kind of rant it out you know so yeah there's no conclusion to this video by the way but anyways if you have any unforgettable books just put them down below maybe you know i might want to read it for various reasons um yeah okay bye guys